Oh yeah, here we go into finding out what DRD theta is all about. You know it. So in this particular example, we get r equals cosine theta yet again. And I say yet again because in the first video in this lesson, we use that same function. It's a basic function, but it really does the job conceptually. So we're asked to find DRD theta. So finding DRD theta is the same as finding r prime of theta. In other words, you're given a function, you want to take its derivative with respect to theta. Nothing fancy here. So DRD theta, or r prime of theta, is equal to, quite literally, the derivative of this with respect to theta, which is just minus sine theta. So there's no tricks there at all. It's minus sine theta. Not that. Now, what do we do from here? Well, nothing. That's, that's it. That's DRD theta. The question becomes, though, what's the meaning of it? What does drd theta represent? So let's find drd theta at theta equals pi over 4. That's asking us to plug pi over 4 into this function here. So that would be minus sine of pi over 4, which is equal to negative root 2 over 2. Now what I put over here is, what's the meaning of that? What's the meaning of this? Well, the meaning of it is, if we go to pi over 4, which is roughly right here, it's not roughly, it's, it's almost exactly right there. DRD theta, notice, is less than zero. Huh. What DRD theta represents is the rate of change of r as theta changes. And that's what d anything means, right? The small change in whatever the variable is over the small change in that other variable. So it's how r is changing as theta changes. So what that means is, if we take a look at this as like a radial arm, at this exact instant in theta, r is getting smaller. And it's getting smaller. I shouldn't say it's getting smaller. It's decreasing at a rate of negative root 2 over 2. And since r is positive, it's going to get less and less, which makes sense because if we go over even to the next point, you see how r got slightly shorter and then shorter and shorter? So what's happening here is drd theta is negative because r is decreasing. That's it. So the meaning is twofold. You could say r is decreasing, or you could say that the distance that the curve is away from the origin is getting smaller. Interesting. Hmm. That's also because r is positive as well. More on that in a little bit. But for right now, that means that the rate of change of r is negative. r is decreasing. So how about this? drd theta at pi over 2. Well, that would be equal to negative sine of pi over 2, which would be equal to negative 1. Now, pi over 2 is right here. So at that very instant, the rate of change of r is Hmm, negative 1. So that means r continues to decrease. It is negative at that value. So what that means is we are going in the opposite direction of whatever the intended pi over 2 is. right? So normally we'd be stretching out r in this direction, pi over 2. We're going the opposite way, stretching out this way. Here at pi over 4, I talked about before, we're going the opposite direction of stretching out towards pi over 4. We're stretching out in the opposite direction, which brings the curve back in. This is now going to stretch the curve back out. Cool. So drd theta at theta equals 7 pi over 6, that would be equal to negative sine of 7 pi over 6. Now where is sine of 7 pi over 6? What is that? That's equal to negative 1 half times a negative 1 is positive 1 half. Now be careful there. 7 pi over 6 is an interesting one. It's actually over here. You might be like, what? Well, it's over there. It is because the cosine of 7 pi over 6 is negative root 3 over 2, so it reflects it over to here. Which makes sense because if you look at it, the r value here is actually increasing, right? And that's because as we go out further and further and further in the 7 pi over 6 direction, um, even though this r value, the distance from the origin is getting smaller, we're increasing in the 7 pi over 6 direction. Why does that make sense? Because we're being pulled this way towards 7 pi over 6. So what this means is that r is increasing in the direction of 7 pi over 6 by a rate of 1 half. Again, 7 pi over 6 down here, we're increasing that way. That would pull us in towards the pole. Interesting. So we're going to be learning all kinds of good stuff about drd theta and how to think about it. But in general, it's the rate at which r is changing in the direction of or away from the direction of whatever theta value we have. It could be either one. So this one here negative root 2 over 2, that means that we are moving in the opposite direction of pi over 4. Yeah, pi over 4 is that way, we're moving that way. Makes sense, because the curve is getting smaller, right, towards the origin. Oh, it's awesome. Okay, so in general, this is just kind of an overview. If r is positive and drd theta is positive, 
we're going to be moving away from the origin. So I'll say away. Maybe I can try to spell that again. Away from the origin. And I'll give you an example of this. Let's say that we're at uh, pi over 6 and dr d theta is positive. That means that we'd be moving that way, right? Moving away from the origin. So we'd be going out that way at that instant in time. If r is greater than 0, ooh, you know what? I'm going to go to these two first. When they both agree, basically, we're moving away from the origin. I'll show you why. If r is less than 0 and dr d theta is less than 0, we're again moving away from the origin. Why is that the case? Well, let me show you. If r is less than 0, let's say that we're at pi over 4. That's like here. But if r is negative, then we're actually over here, because r is negative. And if dr d theta is negative, that means we're moving in the opposite direction of pi over 4. So if this is the direction of pi over 4, we're moving in the opposite direction of it, which would be that way. So just like with speed, uh, if the position in this case, speed is you know, velocity and acceleration, but if the position, the r value, um, and dr d theta have the same sign, we're moving away from the origin. If they have different signs, we're moving towards the origin. Toward the origin. Why is that? Well, let's pick another positive r value. I don't know. Let's say they were at uh, 4 pi over 3. So that'd be down here, roughly. So that's a positive r value. If dr d theta is negative, that means we're moving in the opposite direction of 4 pi over 3. So not this way, but that way. So we'd be moving back towards the origin. Isn't that cool? And one more. Let's say r is less than 0. I'll pick a random value like uh, pi over 2. If r is less than 0, then we're in the opposite direction of pi over 2. We'd be down here. But if dr d theta is greater than 0, that means we're moving in the direction of the angle, which would be back towards the origin. So opposite signs toward the origin, same signs away from the origin. It's beautiful. Again, dr d theta is the rate at which we are changing um, with respect to theta, the r value, the rate at which that's changing. So it's just, are we stretching out in the direction of theta, or are we going in the opposite direction of it? It's funky, but it's worth understanding. All right, so last one in this video. A bored math nerd walks the polar curve on a giant graph she drew with sidewalk chalk, as described by the function below. All right, so you got r equals 5 tangent theta. So we're not actually going to draw this thing out. All right, we're just going to just figure it out at one exact point. So I've got a rough, rough sketch here of a coordinate plane. At theta equals 2 pi over 3, is the nerd walking toward the pole, the origin, or away from it? Without graphing, justify your answer. Well, I'm going to graph it a little bit. So how do we do this? We need to know two things. We need to know where the nerd is as well as how they're moving. Because you can't just say, well, dr d theta is negative, so I'm moving towards the pole. It depends on where you are. Just like if I said you're moving east, are you moving away from Japan or towards it? Well, it depends. If you're in China, you're moving towards it. Right? If you're in California, you're moving away from it. And some of you are just saying, well, it's a big circle, so you could be moving towards it. You get what I'm saying. So it depends where you are as much as how you're moving to determine if you're moving away from something or towards something. So first, I'm going to find r of 2 pi over 3. Let's figure out where we are. So r of 2 pi over 3 is equal to 5 tan of 2 pi over 3. Now, the tangent of 2 pi over 3 is the sine of 2 pi over 3, which is root 3 over 2. We got the 5 out there all over uh, the cosine of 2 pi over 3, which is negative 1 half. This will simplify down to negative 5 root 3. Now, we don't really care about the value so much as the fact that it is negative. So we have that. So I'll put in the word here, since r is equal to that, which is less than 0. And now we're going to find dr d theta. So let's find dr d theta. So dr d theta is equal to 5 secant squared of theta. Huh, it's just taking the derivative of this. And dr d theta at theta equals 2 pi over 3 is equal to 5 times. Now, if it makes you more comfortable, secant squared is 1 over cosine squared. So cosine squared of 2 pi over 3. Now, the cosine of 2 pi over 3 is normally negative 1 half, but we're squaring it, so it becomes positive 1 fourth. So this is then equal to 5 times 1 over 1 fourth. This right here is 1 fourth, right? We're squaring negative 1 half, which is equal to 20, which is greater than 0. So, and now I just copy this. The nerd is walking towards the pole. So the nerd is walking 
toward the pole or the origin. That's it. That's all you'd have to write. We need to come up with a numerical evidence that we're negative and positive, right? Show that, show the derivative as well, and then come up with our conclusion. So you don't have to go any further than that. Now, just to kind of draw out the graph of what's going on here, we're currently at 2 pi over 3. But what we're being told is that the r value is negative 5 over root 3. So we're not actually indeed plotting it there. We're plotting it in the opposite direction, down here. So we're in the opposite r direction. We're in the negative r direction. Yet we're moving in the direction of 2 pi over 3 because r is positive. Sorry, dr d theta is positive. So since dr d theta is positive, we're moving in the direction of 2 pi over 3, which would be towards that angle right there, thus moving towards the pole. Awesome stuff. Come on, you like it. I love it. I love teaching it. I will see you next time when we do another rad video talking about tangents at the pole. It's cool stuff. Peace.